When thinking about creating place, it can take on many forms of perception. An interesting thing about architecture is that you're creating a digital representation of a thing that you will eventually have existing in reality, in physical form. That thing will then be repeatedly communicated back to people in physical form, but also reiterated in digital form, and perhaps in digital form longer than it will ever exist in physical form. And architect's buildings are typically scattered around different places in the city or even the world. And that body of work is often thought of together in the viewer's minds. And for our work the past few years, we've chosen to do something that was fun for us to represent our ideals as minimalist architects. We combined the buildings that we designed and put them in a game. And we've created an analogy and a narrative around that. It starts with something we do in this reality and that is to create a cornerstone and put it in the building to commemorate the completion of it, but also a milestone in our client's personal life and legacy. And we also believe that that cornerstone contributes to the local zeitgeist. In this story, the crinolator from another reality arrives in a portal in the Denver Museum of Art, then teleports to the Orlando Library by Paul Rudolph in search of design power and to crinolate all the buildings. He discovers the cornerstone and that in these buildings that it contains design energy and influences people and steals them for his own use. The result of this theft is that the card buildings are then flattened back into their drawing form and the architects Yoshi and Miel are also flattened. They set out on an adventure in 512 kilobytes to save the card building.